So you want to download some stuff from the internet into your classpad. Well, here we go. So let's head off to the internet. Um, maybe charliewatson.com slash ATAR to start with. So I'll hide my calculator. Here's my browser. And this is where you'll end up. Some page like this. Uh, Charlie Watson classpad. And let's tap on to ATAR help. If you're in WA, this is a sort of load of links. So here for applications, we've got some e-activities for year 11 and the same for year 12. Some programs, e-activity over here. We've got the same for methods and over here the same for specialist units 3 and 4. Um, this isn't the only place where you can download things. Um, we could head off to something like, well, while we're here, let's just grab the... Um, applications unit 3 and 4 e-activity for classpad 2 so I just clicked on it and um, I should see here it is it's just um, downloaded all right let's go and um, although we could get a copy of the time series program here let's see what else there is so on the e-activities page uh, there's a few things two-point line 3d lines planes a whole load of um, e-activities to choose from on the programs page um, AP, GP, time series. There's a little video as well to explain how this time series video works. But let's download the copy for Classpad 2. So here it is. We've downloaded that little fella as well. And um, while we're at it, let's get an ending screen to tidy up our Classpad. You know, when we turn it off, have something more interesting. So I'm going to choose this one. Click on it and um, we should see that it downloads over here anytime now. There it is. So um, now let's have a look, see where all that stuff's ended up. So here's my, um, ah, here we are in my downloads folder. Um, we've got the three things we just downloaded. Now I'm going to just take a copy of them and pop them into a folder on my desktop here called My Files. So here we go. I'll um, paste them into this little fella. And um, so far, so good. Okay, next I'm going to connect my class pad up to a, uh, my computer. I'm just plugging in the USB cable now. And the first thing that happens on class pad is a little splash screen comes up. Select connection mode. And I'm going to choose the USB flash. And as soon as I do that, let me just go and show you. Here it is. So it's basically turned up here, um, opened up just like any other drive would on your computer. So I need to go find... Um, my folder of stuff on my desktop so let's hide this window behind um, here it is here's my files on my desktop i'm going to drag that onto my usb drive which is basically classpad don't forget it's showing up here as a usb drive and um, that's it it's on classpad so i'm going to close this window and disconnect classpad Right, and so to finish off, um, we turn our attention back to ClassPad. So here we go. I've turned it on. I've come over into System, and I'm going to view Storage and Import. This will show access to the USB drive part of ClassPad by tapping Select. And here's the folder My Files, and let's have a look what's in there. There are the three things we just downloaded. So if I tap onto the top one, it's telling me it's the e-activity. Uh, here's the picture. And here's the program. So I'm just going to select anything that I've downloaded with an XCP extension. Pictures um, and uh, add-in applications stay in the USB drive part of ClassPad. And I'm going to tap Import. And ClassPad says, where do you want to put your e-activity files? Uh, I'm going to go with the main folder. But if you have any other folders you prefer, choose them. Tap OK. And now it's asking me where I want to store variables. Well, that would be the program. And again, I'm just going to select the default main folder and say OK. And that's it. So now we're ready to run them. Let's just check everything's in place. Program. And here's our time series program ready to run. Or we could head back to the main menu, across to the first page to e-activity. Tap File, Open. Tap into the main folder. And there's our e-activity applications, units three and four, ready to open. And there it is. So it's that easy.